chemistry professor here at the University of Texas. I teach two general chemistry courses every single semester. Plus .01. But that's like my day job. That's what I do on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and then the weekends, I perform as Kate the Chemist. And so I travel across the country, I blow stuff up for kids, I try to get them excited about science and just show them the fun side of science. Oh, here's the screen now, here's the screen now. Okay, this is exciting. And that's what's brought me to the Today Show and Late Night with Stephen Colbert. And I've been on Wendy Williams a bunch and Rachel Ray a bunch and all this stuff. Like, it's that Kate the Chemist career and trying to make science fun has brought me on a national television. Actually more on this mission to try to change the image of a scientist, right? You don't have to have the clunky shoes and the glasses and your hair and like whatever stereotypical scientist looks like. Instead, you can just be a normal girl who likes high heels, explosions, and fire, and you like to play with science. These right here, I just got these. I wore these today. These are amazing. I got these 50% off at Saks Fifth Avenue. It's a really good day. So for me, the hardest part is actually performing these science experiments on camera because science isn't perfect. Sometimes it doesn't work. One bad demo is all it would take for my career to be over. For men, not so much. For women, that's true. It's like, I don't know about you, but when I grew up, there was no, there were no female scientists on TV, ever. I was actually really lucky because a crew from CBS's Mission Unstoppable came. We brought over 60 women, all undergraduate or graduate students here at the University of Texas that were a science major. We were trying to set the record for the most number of thunderclouds to happen at one time. It felt like hours we were training people, but who knows how long it actually was, to train the students to throw water from one bucket to another bucket. They've got a still of me on the Today Show and I'm literally like this. Which is surprisingly difficult, I learned, because I watched people struggle with it. If I put the water in the bucket, that's what's starting to do. Ideally, though, it wasn't really about me. The point was to get all these women together. And so there was all this cross-disciplinary action happening right there in front of the tower. And, like, that was the point. <laughs> me and, like, all the women, yeah, we're standing there with our fists in the air. And like it felt like when I saw that picture, I actually teared up. I'm like trying not to right now because I just felt like that's what I was supposed to do. Like that's why I'm here. So, but now we need to get some women of color. We need to get the LGBTQ community. Like it's just baby steps. And so I'm just gonna try to do my part. You do your part, your part, your part. Take a roll. <laughs> it's my mission. If I am a success, that would mean that I can plow through some barriers enough to let the next generation come up and then they can push that edge even more to let the next generation come up. So on my deathbed, honestly, I would love for people to say, who's Kate the Chemist? Compliment to me. Um, Bill Nye doesn't have a PhD, and I do. And so for me, I would love to kind of put that on it as well. It's like, well, you know, maybe you can be feminine and better. So that's all. I am just a 33-year-old woman who enjoys setting myself on fire. It doesn't matter what you're passionate about. What actually matters is that you go after your dream. You have to, otherwise you will regret it forever. You can be feminine, or you can be a dork, or you can be a tomboy. You can be whoever it is you are. Be your authentic self and follow your dream. This is so cool. Thanks, so